Hello everyone, welcome to this different type of video where I will be looking at a future mod for Terraria and speculating on some of the bosses and stuff in it. Now the mod we're going to look at today is the Spirit Mod, a very awesome looking mod that's coming out soon. So I'm gonna read you, you know, the boss names and all the boss items and things he does already and then we'll speculate from there. So the first boss we have here is the Dust King. Now it says on the page, a menacing boss that lurks in the night. He shoots out projectiles and minions including crystal shadows, shadow balls, shadow circles, and shadow flamers. To summon him in, you need to craft the Dust Crown, crafted with two spirit bars and four souls of night at a mithril slash or calcum anvil. Now some of the items he drops is the shadow flame sword, shoots out a shadow flame projectile, the shadow sphere, shoots a slow moving shadow circle, Crystal Shadow, a throwing weapon that drops from Dusk King, drops around 30 to 60, inflicts the Shadow Flame debuff. The Umbra Staff shoots a Shadow Ball to chase after your enemies. Dust Stone drops from Dusk King in large quantities. Shadow Gauntlet works similarly to the Fire Gauntlet because it is crafted with 18 Dust Stones and a Fire Gauntlet at a Tinkerer's Workshop. Dust Carbine, a very special expert shotgun. Dusk Armor or Shadow Flame theme armor crafted with Dust Stone at a Mithril slash or Calcum Anvil. Now I'm speculating that this boss will be early hard mode because it seems to be with a Shadow Flame theme unless the Spirit Mod is going to add in more stuff with Shadow Flame, you like more progression with Shadow Flame. But I'm guessing this is around like after you kill the Wild Flesh, after you get a couple ores around that time. Maybe like once you get a Mithril slash or Calcum Anvil. Around that time is when you can fight the Dusk King. The next boss is the Illuminant Master, the controller of the Hollowed Biome, a not so fairy tale boss that summons Chaos Cultists and attacks very rapidly. Beware, for this is one heck of a boss. To summon in the Illuminant Master, you're gonna need to craft something called the Chaos Fire. It is crafted with five cursed flames, three souls of light, and two crystal shards at a mithril slash or calcum anvil. Some of the items the Illuminant Master drops is the trophy. A whole armor set from top to bottom, including a headdress, headgear, hood, and cowl for each class. There's a treasure bag that contains a secret expert item, and that item being the crystal shield. A pixie charm, which greatly increases life regen when a lot of enemies are nearby. Fairy star staff shoots out a concentrated ball of illuminant energy rapidly. Phase saber occasionally shoots out a ball of concentrated energy. Sylph shot bow shoot out pixie arrows which confuse enemies and the gastropod staff summons a flying gastropod to attack enemies my speculation on this boss is that he will be a post golem boss because looking at his picture he looks pretty big and he summons in chaos cultists those sound very dangerous but yeah i'm guessing post golem or pre duke fish from pre cultist the next boss is infernon a hard mode underworld boss an early hard mode boss that rushes at you firing infernal bolts and more an expert, Infernon is a now a part of a duo as he summons the Infernus Skull to shoot fireballs and lasers at you, teleporting around the screen. To summon him in, you need to make the Desiccated Emblem, which is crafted with three Hellstone Bars and two Infernal Essences at a Mithril slash or Calcum Anvil. Some of the drops from Infernon include a Firestorm Shield, allows for a dash by double tapping and hitting enemies dealing the burning debuff to them. Blaze Saber, dropped by Infernon, occasionally shoots out a Blazing Inferno, Fiery Spear, a throwing spear that sets enemies ablaze. Infernal Rose shoots out a group of blazing infernos in random directions. Infernal Armor, crafted with infernal appendages which also drop from Infernon. And they are crafted at a Mythos slash or Calcum Anvil. A magic armor set that heightens magic damage and use time. If the full armor set is worn, then infernal guardians surround you, exponentially increasing magic damage as your health goes down. My speculation on this boss is he's right after the Wall of Flesh because you only need hellstone bars and something called infernal essences i don't think he'll be too hard in expert mode he does sound extremely hard though but he looks really cool probably my favorite looking boss from the spirit mod so far so the next boss is called the overseer the overseer is a post moon lord boss that is fought in the spirit biome it is a tough boss it will fire ethereal wisp soul shards and core pieces while dashing at the player and swiping with its rocky claws it is summoned by clicking a spirit altar which randomly appears on the surface of your spirit biome so the overseer has a lot of drops starting with the essence of eternity crafts the three armor sets of the overseer and is dropped by him in large quantities now you can make the leggings and then the chest plate and all the helmets add different buffs to the different classes. The first helmet is a Shadow Spirit Visor, which increases melee damage, speed, and crit chance. 
Melee attacks have a chance to release a core piece on swing. The next helmet is the Shadow Spirit Headdress, which increases magic and summon damage, as well as increasing mana, number of summons, and reduces mana usage. Ranged and summon attacks summon forth a homing ethereal wisp. The last helmet is called the Shadow Spirit Shaco. It increases range damage and throwing damage. It also increases crit chance, speed, and reduces ammo consumption. Arrows and throwing weapons have a chance to turn into soul shards, piercing enemies and severely reducing enemy defense. So the set bonus for the armor is becoming the shadow. Using shadow gear allows you to either double tap to dash or press O to teleport to your cursor. So let's move on to the other drops. The first being Essence Expulsor Staff fires a huge spurt of blue essence at your enemies. Spirit Core causes a huge explosion to trigger at the player's position, releasing a bunch of piercing rocks at enemies. Soul Chainer, a huge mace that explodes into ethereal energy when hitting an enemy. Core Claw, a close range claw weapon that reduces enemy defense. Core Piercer, a throwing weapon that shatters into shards upon impacting the ground. Ether Imbue Staff, summons an ether boulder surrounded by a tiny core fragment which it hurls at enemies. Subsequent summons do not give you more ether boulders but add more cores to your boulder, allowing quicker, more damaging shots. Eternity, a rapid double shot firing bow that releases waves of energy that go through walls. Now for my speculation, there isn't much to say, this boss is post Moon Lord, so he's obviously gonna be hard as hell, but he looks crazy, I don't know how big he's gonna be, but if he's after Moon Lord, he's gonna be pretty decently sized. The last boss is a desert boss, and it goes by the name of Ancient Flyer. I don't have much information on this boss, I just have its sprite and its armor set and it drops, you know, like, I don't know what it is, a talon maybe, it drops talons and you can make, you know, tools and the armor from the talons, but that's really all I got about him. I expect this to be a pre-hard mode boss, definitely pre-hard mode, but not too early on, maybe like after Skeletron or after, you know, uh, the worm or after the brain. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little special video for this mod, Spear mod, it looks amazing. I can't wait to play it when it comes out and to the developers keep on doing what you guys are doing this mod looks fantastic in the comments i want you guys to leave your order for the bosses i'm interested to see what you guys you know what order you guys thought of other than that i will see you guys next time i eat ass